Hello and welcome to the FM Scout YouTube channel. I am Curti FM and in this video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install graphics uh, to Football Manager 2017. Having graphics in the game really does kind of enrich and enhance the whole experience to be honest I find and luckily there's a fantastic selection of graphics over on the FM Scout website. Before I get into the nuts and bolts of the video though, um, I'd like to direct you to my channel. Um, I'm currently playing as Arsenal in a Let's Play series, um, so if you want to come over, have a watch of uh, some of my stuff, that would be fantastic. If you're new over there, you've never seen any of my stuff, it'd be amazing if you stayed around, subscribed to the channel, and yeah, just, just come along for the ride really. So we're starting on the um, club screen, and you can see that I'm playing as Arsenal. Um, on this screen is the default logo. Um, that's the one we're going to be looking to, to upload. The default logo for the club, for the Premier League as well. Even kits and faces you can upload. All of this is available over on the FM Scout website. Like I say, it can really, really enrich the whole experience. And from a personal point of view... I much prefer playing when I can see the real logos, the faces of the players. It, it just enhances everything for me. First off, we're going to look to load the logo pack for the Premier League. So let's get on with that now, shall we? So the first thing you need to do is head on over to the FM Scout website, hit the download section, and you'll be greeted by all the different downloads, different types of downloads that you can add to your game. Um, graphics, logos, face packs, club kits, all kinds of stuff that you can add over there. We're going to focus on the logos today. To be honest, how you install them is the same, whatever you are trying to install, whether it's logos, whether it's face packs. So I'm going to show you how to install the logo pack for the Premier League, and then it's just following that process will enable you to install other graphics as well. So for the purposes of the video, I've already downloaded the Premier League logo pack. And what you need to do is go into your documents folder, because that's generally where you'll find Football Manager. Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2017, and a graphics folder. Now, the game won't start with a graphics folder. You have to create one. And it's literally just a case of right-clicking, new folder, typing in graphics, and it will create an empty graphics folder. So what you need to do is add the graphics that you've downloaded to that folder. So the folder I downloaded is over here. I'm just gonna literally drag and drop it in and you can see actually the PNG files that this folder contains will now be in the game. There is one more thing that you need to do just to enable the graphics. So go back to your Football Manager 2017, go into your menu, Preferences, go to Interface. Now, these two you'll want ticked if you clear the cache, hit that, that will exit the menu and still nothing's happened. But now, if you go back to preferences, hit reload skin, and you can see that the Arsenal badge is now on the screen. If I go over to competitions, all the Premier League badges are now in place. And that's literally it. It's really, really easy to do, really easy process, and, and all the files being in one place at FM Scout really make this easy. So you might actually be able to see now that I've, uh, I've gone one step further and installed the kits and the face pack um, from FM Scout. And it's, yeah, it's just exactly the same way. Download the files, pop them in your graphics folder, reload the cache of the game, and Bob's your uncle, you're away. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it's clear enough how to install the graphics. Um, if you're still not sure, drop a comment in the uh, comment section below, and uh, with your questions, and I'll I'll do my best to answer any of the uh, any queries that you might have about how to do it. If something's gone wrong, hopefully I'll be able to talk you through it. But like I say, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully, none of you should have any issues with downloading the graphics that you want in the game. So I've been Curti FM. Just another plug for my channel. If you want to head over there, check out my Arsenal save. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but we're doing all right. So uh, maybe come over and have a look. But that's all from me. So 
If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It's really, really appreciated when you do. If you're new to the FM Scout YouTube channel, hit subscribe. We've got loads and loads of quality content creators working hard to produce quality content for the FM Scout YouTube channel. And we've got some really exciting stuff coming up. So make sure you subscribe, stick around for what's coming up. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.